all of this with the global warming and the, that, and a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. When it comes to calling out lying politicians like Donald Trump. It's fucking unbelievable. I hear this time and again, and I'm tired of it, okay? And there's an argument that always comes up. 96% of the world's scientists agree that there is climate change, okay? That, whether you like it or not, is a fact. For decades, one of the most passionate voices has been comedian Louis Black. It will go away, just stay calm, it will go away. Be calm, it's really working out. And when it came to just science, well. I love the fact that they say I'm not a scientist. Well, I'm not a doctor, kid. <laughs> Doesn't mean, that's why we have scientists. As soon as you say I'm not a scientist, bud, that's why we have them. You don't have to do it. We don't expect you to do it. But I, what I do expect leadership to do is to fucking listen to the scientists. I expect that because they, they, like us, went through an education process. And then we got to like chemistry as I did. And I went, holy, f I can't do this. I burned my hand on a Bunsen burner. F you, I'm not studying this crap. The comedian went in on those politicizing it to score cheap points. If we ignore that science and sort of put our head in the sand and think it's all about vegetation management, we're not going to succeed together protecting Californians. Okay, it'll start getting cooler. I you wish just, you just watch. I wish science agreed with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we certainly do. This smug face says it all about the modern day politician. Even. Even if they're wrong, even if they're wrong, one of the things we might want to do as a people is to treat the planet in a fashion that would care for it. Because I don't know about these people who, I know that I read the Bible and the Bible told me, and even though I may not believe in a lot of one of the common sense things is that this is a garden that we were given to caretake. So you might... But if you need a profit, if you need to get that fucking profit, go ahead, just barrel through. Don't worry about your children or your children's children. Which Black calls out directly to their faces. By the way, look no further than Donald Trump's cabinet. He hired Rex Tillerson as Secretary of State at the onset of his reign. Tillerson's money comes from being chairman and CEO of ExxonMobil. So you can really trust these people to build a perfect pipeline that won't f up anything. And it's gonna bring down some of the f oil you can f imagine. Just to oil Canada can produce because Canada has bought into our we're going to come up with oil and then we're going to send it down here and it's going to be carbon laden but no don't worry don't worry and the only reason we're doing it, it just comes down to this it really is if you think if the money is really that's all I want is a fact is, is the money fucking vital is that absolutely the most vital fucking thing or is the environment the most important thing and that's all that's all I want to know if the money is absolutely more vital than the environment then do it but that's what this is a case of. Fantastic points on the intertwining of the ultra-wealthy climate change denial and religion. Many Pennsylvania towns, once thriving and humming, are now in a state of total disrepair. This wave of globalization has wiped out totally, totally our middle class. It doesn't have to be this way. We can turn it around, and we can turn it around Fast. Says the guy who would sell out any member of our society or even his family for a buck. I was raised middle class. Absolutely middle class. When I hear a discussion on Congress about what the, 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 the disappearing middle class and what needs to be done, I, I don't think they have a clue. I don't think they have any sense of history. I don't think they have any idea of, of how it works. But you have to realize that um, there was a sense in the community that I was in where everyone was middle class, that there was truly a sense that somehow everything would be okay, things would be taken care of. There was, uh, we went to, um, 
we had a, a, a thing back then, and I know this would come as a shock here in Washington, called <laughs> taxes. And listen to the lack of a laugh in this room. Listen to the lack of a laugh in this room. Taxes. Ha, 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 ha. And your response is, oh, you can't even talk about it. You won't even crack a smile. It's extraordinary. Lewis Black hates Trump and the like, who did their part to dissolve the middle class over the years. Maybe hate isn't even strong enough. We renew our resolve that America will never be a socialist country. Because just about every member of Congress is a staunch capitalist. I do say that I'm a socialist, and I am a socialist, and uh, and that is about um, that is, is about as powerless a position as you can be in in the United States. Uh, and I, I really just wanted to start with that because the idea of calling anyone uh, outside of maybe Bernie Sanders. A, a socialist. To call Obama a socialist is you have got to be out of your god mind. Um, there are seven socialists left in the country, and if you really want to see the leadership of the Socialist Party, you can go to a cemetery and find them. We have no effect. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I was a kid, you actually read about them, and I can't imagine. Uh, that in many of the history books, which have also kind of forgotten evolution is a real thing, that socialism is really even discussed uh, historically. It has produced suffering, corruption, and decay. Socialism's thirst for power leads to expansion, incursion, and oppression. All nations of the world should resist socialism and the misery that it brings to everyone. He's talking about himself here, obviously. I don't know what we're at. <laughs> I do know this. I do know that there's a certain group of people in the country who believe in the individual to the point of it's the most important thing on the planet is the individual and me, I'm it. And then there's another group of people who believe that government, a collective, the group, and that's the most important thing on earth. So that you have a group of people who read Ayn Rand and took a piece of fiction. How do you read fiction and come up with a political philosophy? Ask Christians. It's fiction. <laughs> it's fiction. Christians, I don't give a shit. That's a book that somebody at least comes up with some mumbo in jumbo and stands there in a hat and does some <laughs> shaky things. And it makes it work. I'm talking about somebody by themselves reading a book and then coming out with this libertarian thing and the beyond that that we are yeah, I am the most important thing on the planet and that we are teetering at that position now where these people believe that the individual is so profoundly important and that government and the collective is a piece of shit. Today we're proposing to take American air travel into the future, finally, finally. Right. This is the goal all along for the ultra wealthy. Woo our politicians and make more money. And the main problem with Amtrak is it's government run. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. Um, is, is, is that the problem? Is government the word that's bad? Government? Would Enron have run better? Would these guys who just basically destroyed the economy? What, what is it? At what point doesn't anyone comprehend that government is not a word, it's people. It's people who do the job. That's what it is. And whether you're working in a business or you're working in government, there are rules and you follow those rules. And it's the people in those positions who are responsible for it, not the government. The who was in charge, who decided, wait a second! Because if we're gonna get into that, you're insane. Because to say it's Clinton's fault that he picked a schmuck, 
than look at numbnuts here and the amount of idiots he picked. They both pick them. But it's sad that we've reached a point where government service is a dirty word, where it's shoveled behind. I come from D.C. My father worked for the government. He did a hell of a f***ing job for them. And I'm sick of people demeaning it. If we're the greatest country on earth, maybe we could have the greatest government. When he learned Donald Trump would be on the very same stage he was at that moment, Black shared this story. Donald, Donald Trump will be at this day as soon. No. May 27th. And I'll see you. <laughs> May 27th, if you want to come back. Yeah. What would you say to him? I would say to Donald Trump, oh God. Well, I did a thing on Donald Trump about three years ago on The Daily Show. I, I can't even, seriously can't remember what it was, but it wasn't nice, but it wasn't mean, it was funny. And, uh, um, and I, I just, I don't think you should, well, I, we'll talk, I, that's what I'd say to you is next, um, about having him here. But, but I, I got a call from his, uh, his secretary calls and says, Donald Trump wants to talk to you after I did this thing the next day. And I was really busy, and my parents were coming to town, or I was, and uh, and I was like, Are you? so I got my uh, assistant to call his assistant <laughs> to say I'm a busy man. <laughs> and I'm thinking, you know, and then he called the next day. He had the assistant call. I'm going, what are you? Are you me? I'm like, I'm, I'm a comic and I got too much to do to have a conversation with you. You're an entrepreneur. How can you have time? <laughs> so I would say, you know, don't call me again. <laughs> and I don't think, is he coming here to be the, is he going to speak? Right here. Um, uh, 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 you know, uh, no. I just, I don't think we should, he's had his time. It's, it, it just, zip it. Once he got through, when he kept with the birther thing, it was like, nope, you, no, you're just, this is, it, it, it's self-advertising. You're allowing self-advertising. I didn't bring my CDs here today. And gives a take on sports and politics. At least you have a team you want to root for. I live in uh, New York City, and I, and there's the New York Yankees, and the level, no. Because uh, that's you. You and the yay Yankees. Oh, good. Root for the Yankees. Yeah. Yeah, root for... Why don't you, while you're at it, root for Exxon to raise the price of gas. <laughs> See, you're better off with the Padres. They suck, but at least you're not rooting for fascism. First things first, if there are any stories we missed, if there are any that you would like to submit, get at me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, DMs are open, and please, if you can, support this channel, become a member, and or support the network as a whole. You can do that by going to our channel home and tyt.com slash join. There's a few points here. The first is Lewis Black has shown over the years that the message remains the same, that he feels stuck in between the two political parties and also sees the bigger picture, that the funding of social services, the ability for government to care for their citizens has practically eroded over time and has led to great distrust. But it's not that he doesn't believe in a system, it's that he doesn't believe in this system. It's quite clear. The second part is he is passionate about the way that he sees American society. And there is no stronger voice, I would say, let alone for the notches of the levels of his base of his voice than Lewis Black. Third, to hear that he is a socialist is music to my ears. And the line that he said, if you want to see some of the great socialists, just go to where they're buried because they're not around anymore. It's true. It's true. And the reason for that is we have as a society propped up and given credence and power and unfounded respect to the ultra wealthy who then see a small slither of an investment to those that are lawmakers, the lawmakers take the money and then do their dirty work legally through legalized bribery. There have been many decisions over the years when it comes to the Supreme Court that have allowed and enabled this to happen and Lewis Black sees it and I hope you do too.